What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here today and talk about uh, Radio Silence recent comments. Tyler, Tyler Gillette specifically, I believe he stated this in a recent interview and I'll leave a link to it in the description talking about the need to subvert our expectations and taking risk in order to do that. Now, you know, it's just like a sentiment like that while I know there's going to be intent behind it to then, you know, try to pull the rug out from under your audience from every which way possible to achieve that with some type of viewers like myself i think is now impossible and i'll go into a little bit of as to why that is after i read this uh quote that they had given he stated that this movie has to be willing to risk it all in order to subvert all of those expectations and we're so far down the rabbit hole of screen movies that it's all up for grabs at this point so again just to talk about that really quick for someone like myself i think that's impossible the reason i think that's impossible is because i think that when you come when it comes down to watching certain type of movies and you know identifying certain things and certain cues that will lead you to appropriately predict who is who and who is going to end up being this character later on and who's going to die and you know what the motive is going to be i think that someone who studies these movies front and back they're not going to be you're not going to be very successful at subverting their expectations unless you somehow do something that I know everyone would be against, which would include one of the legacy characters that are now left being the killer, which again, Sidney Prescott being Ghostface, not going to happen. And then Gail Weathers being Ghostface, not going to happen. But again, that's just something I'm talking about. Anything else, I'll find it very hard to believe that they could do that in a way that makes me go like oh my gosh i'm so shocked all these movies are enjoyable they're all very well made for the most part uh but as far as like being shocked by them i don't think i've actually been shocked by a scream movie so much since the mrs loomis reveal now with roman of course that was a little bit more of just like huh and they're like oh this is a little bit interesting and then it grows on you of course i have my gripes with scream 3 i do think it's the weakest one but as far as like just any of them shocking me that hasn't happened since scream 2 i just think that the twist with that character of debbie salt and how she was here and gone throughout the movie and then bam you got that big reveal you know if you can pull something off like that in scream 6 then sure I think you have a chance of subverting my expectations if you do something like that. But at this stage, you know, I just think with the Internet and all that stuff, there's no way that I'll be someone who is just floored by whatever I'm presented in a screen movie. But, you know, I'm I'm, of course, going to recognize that they're, of course, most likely talking to the general audience who is not digging and studying screen religiously like some of us. <laughs> but one thing they could do is, again, which I talked about doing in screen five do it in scream six do it at some point let a ghost face killer get away with it let a ghost face killer get away with it maybe we're presented with the idea or the narrative of two killers and that's what we are sold all the way through the movie and that's how the movie even ends we end the movie with two killers being caught everything's done they're put behind bars or they're killed but then your movie continues to play out and at the very end of it you give us a give us a indication and just a very clear answer that there weren't just two killers there were indeed three now you're leaving us with the mystery of well who was the third killer and what i mean by that is maybe it's done in a way that confirms that not only was there a third killer but it's one of the surviving characters factored into this narrative or you could just like do it in a way that makes you question so one of the surviving cares of obviously I, I don't think it should be some like random character that they introduce in scream seven i think it should be someone who's introduced in scream six and then maybe you kind of built this narrative where they could be like a debbie salt type of character they seem like they don't have really big connections to anything but they're here and gone the next second and then in Scream 7, they, they're back and they come to be this big mastermind or something that was tied to Scream 6. And 
Maybe they had something to do with the events of Scream 4. This could be even where Tara's dad comes into the mix. Because they did say that we'll be meeting Tara's mom in Scream 6, but they didn't mention her dad. So maybe they could do something like that that's building up to Tara's dad and Sam. Tara's dad, because Sam's dad's Billy. Tara's dad being the killer in Scream 7, and maybe he had some type of connections with what went on in Scream 5, and then Scream 6, and now ultimately Scream 7. They could do something like that. Uh where you don't reveal that third killer because I know a lot of you want to see something different where there's a third killer and maybe they do it in a way in which you see that there are clearly multiple killers but this time the multiple killers is not just two it's in fact more than two you don't find that out though until the very end of the movie the movie could still end on a happy note and that's all fine and dandy but as far as just like having two killers i think it would be nice to kind of go away from that and have a third killer teased at the very end of the movie before the movie ends on a high note with our characters going off to the sunset and then we get whatever cool little end credit setup we get with the with the music playing in the background you know all that good jazz uh but just tease that there's a third killer that was working in scream six and you don't find out who this person is amongst these surviving characters that you've already been introduced to in scream six until scream seven that's a good way to build intrigue it's a good way to get your audience kind of curious and thinking about oh well what is going on who is this person how do they factor into it i again don't know exactly how i would portray it on screen but i think that's something that maybe a lot of you would agree with that instead of revealing all three killers for those of you who want that third killer save the third killer for screen seven find a narrative that works wolf wolf them into the fabric of this trilogy you're talking about and again if it's tara's dad maybe they have something to do with screen five and again they could go about how they were involved with scream six and how they even managed to do all of that pull that off without being caught without having those who got caught ratting them out like just going into a little bit in-depth detail about how that all came to be as well i think that's one thing they could do to subvert your expectation give you two killers but then say hey no there weren't two killers there were three but you're gonna have to wait till the seventh one that's the thing i think a lot of people would probably prefer to see aside from gail or sydney being the killer gail or sydney dying some random twist that doesn't make sense you know stuff like that this third killer should be teased and then saved for scream scream seven don't give us all three in scream six but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video